Dan family. I'm Anjali, and today we're going to be making peanut and tomato chutney. Yes. So we tried to make some dosas. Uh, I want to say almost an utter fail, right? <laughs> we're going to try again. But what we did find is that I found a couple recipes for chutneys and that we all really like. So peanut, tomato, and onion chutney, and then uh, coconut, and um, we put onions in it too, gray leaves and stuff. And um, I like sweet and spicy. So, but Daddy likes this one the best, the peanut and tomato chutney. So, Anjali is gonna start cutting up this onion, and we have a lot of the ingredients. We already started, um, put some oil and mustard seeds inside. And when the oil heats up a little bit more, we'll add the chilies and the curry leaves and then um, the onion and Sanji is done cutting it up. So go ahead, Anjali. And the thing I liked about this recipe, and if I can find the link again, I'll put it down below, that she had many different variations of, of what you could use. If you wanted tomato, if you didn't want tomato. Um, if we have a doll, I put a little of uh, that in first too, um, to give it that nutty flavor. But this, um, you guys will have to let us know what chutneys are your favorites and which ones we should try next. Right? Yep. So we've been putting this over rice, on toast, as like a side with curry. And one of these days we'll try to make dosas again too. With our own recipes. Yes. Yes, we got a pre-mix and um, yeah. It's definitely harder than it looks, so. Yeah, on this, we watched this video and on the street they just pour it and then They flip just pour it, it and flip it, but it's not that easy, so. But this, we really enjoy these chutneys and we've been trying to be creative with our cooking now that we're trapped inside and um, need, to make need to make a lot of our own stuff but also not having as many varieties of foods because we're not going shopping too much. So what we have in the house. So now that the onions are brown. getting a little bit brown, they look nice. Anjali is going to add the peanuts and brown those up a little bit too. And it's about a cup. Yeah. We went and got some delicious rice from our Indian shop. Really good rice. Better than the rice we were eating. Yes, we were eating more like American style rice, which is just long grain rice, which is not very good. And because um, that's all the shops had, but we finally we went to the Indian went to the shop because Indian they were back open, and they were like, "Yeah, we have 20 pounds of rice." We were like, "We will be there." So we made some amazing rice. Well, Angie's browning those. I'll show you already in my wonderful Bella cooker, which I love. We made some fabulous rice. We added a little bit of water, and now we're going to add some Chili powder. Okay, some curry powder. Which is about like a half a teaspoon. Too much. Garlic. Yeah. And if you have fresh garlic, you'd put that in with the onions, but we didn't have fresh garlic today. And then you need a little salt. And then mix that together and then we're gonna let it cool and then we're gonna throw it in the blender and make it a nice and add more water to it if you're gonna store it and it will uh, be delicious so we added everything all the peanuts and tomatoes chutney to our 
blender and Angie's gonna start it up. And then open it up. Let's check it out. Mmm, it looks good. On some rice. Be nice and spicy. So here is our peanut chutney that we made, and then um, we'll make some coconut chutney too. So. Yeah.